Hi everyone. Well, it has been one week since I did the setup of the the group of uh, pyroform dinoflagellates. Yes, you will see other things that are not from pyroforms, but uh, back in uh, last year, beside my uh, six uh, the large orb. Uh, Bio orb. Uh, I decided to try also something named BioGlow from another company. Uh, so, long story short, uh, I decided to. It did not go so well in general, uh, but that was something of, of of a mistake I make because I have other aquariums with green algae and. That is a, a different story, but uh, the thing is that in the long term, uh, I found that the pyro farms uh, dinoflagellates uh, lasted longer in these issues. So, uh, I had already the bioglows and the equipment I bought with them, so I decided to use uh, use them with uh, the pyro farms. Uh, Dinoflagellates. Okay, so anyhow, the reason I'm making this, this video, you can see the temperature over there, and uh, is for some lessons learned uh, that I need to fix after one week. Uh, I got this uh, grow lamp, it's a uh, soft white and stuff, and they said that the uh, it was prepared to dissipate heat, uh, so no um, significant heat contribution, blah, 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 blah. But uh, we are not talking about plants. We are talking about algae, dinoflagellates in a specific. And based on the instructions uh, that I got from the last shipment, they said that the optimal temperature is 68 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or 20 Degree, degrees uh, centigrade. Well, I made the mistake of breaking the sun rule and as you can see, uh, uh, depending where uh, the, the sensor is, uh, it varies. Uh, so I know that the lamp does not vary. So I press on as the, the heat and the cold in my room moves, it affects the temperature, but you see that it goes from 74 to 77. That, and that will be consistent what I have seen in the last week. Uh, first of all, uh, let me show first of all, I read this product, BioGlow, they suggested to keep it closed and they get different conditions. Uh, with experience with the pyro uh, farms, I decided to start using it open and uh, it yielded more uh, better results. Uh, so essentially this is the uh, BioGlow container and they have this light, uh, they have this, uh, so I got uh, four of them for other uses so I decided to use it since they were for the BioGlow and uh, in a moment I will show you for what else. So anyhow, uh, what I will do next is what I have been doing in the last week. Uh, so first of all, I need to remove that. There goes the sensor. Uh, Because what I do is uh, I do I put a spin on all the uh, the containers. So, and as I said, I have everything in this group, and here's the light. About the light, uh, I did not make a mistake, and, and now that the sensor is in the floor, instead of top of, of the bay orb. You see that the temperature down there is very close to 70. So something I noted in the last week, let me see if I can show it here. 
what I do, I put a spin on the container and I have the, beside the shape, uh, the two bio glows are the furthest from the lamp. So why not? Uh, you might note that there is like a band of dinoflagellates that forms as I uh, move it around. And of course the dinoflagellates on the, and this is only a week, uh, so it's pretty early, so I cannot be very sure. So what I do, I simply spin it a little until I see the band and uh, I'm gonna move this so uh, you can see how it looks in the other one. How much? Just uh, as you can see, as soon as it's spinning, you can see like a band of the, I hope that it shows in the video, of the dinoflagellates in this one also. But what I was concerned is that the containers that I had closer to the light were, doesn't look to be doing as well as these two. And again, that I, I am the one to blame because I'm not having checked in the temperature. Because, of course, the, the temperature is not big enough, but I don't have my hand here or my hand here. Oops, excuse me. But I don't have my hand here or my hand here. That even then, it doesn't feel that of a big difference. But if I have the room at uh, 70 degrees, uh, the light, without a doubt, increments the temperature. So let me do this, the smallest ones. Okay, so essentially what I do is spin. Of course, the hole is here, there is no socket. So if you feel this one, do not feel it all the way to the hole, uh, because if you want to spin it, it will splash. So as you can see, and of course it has the light below. So since I had uh, two extra lights, uh, I put one under each angle. Okay, so you can see that here the bands do well. And let me win this guy, so you can see that I repeat the processes in this guy. So I have the lamp uh, 12 hours and the lights below it, these ones are set for 12 hours also. So that is the schedule I have. Uh, here's the, the bio turtle. So the, what I do is I spin it. I have noted that this one, again, it's just a week, but I could, uh, I thought that it had more in the surface that you get a better layer here in the top. And I think they have gone away, although below, as you can see, looks like they are multiplying quite well. So, anyhow, that is what I do. I spin it a little until I de see the, the bands uh, forming. Very carefully, remember this is glass, don't press it down, just very gently. And as you can see, I feel it too much. So you want to be careful if you do this approach because it will spill. Just have that in mind. Okay. Normally I will not move all these guys around and I'm very nervous to put this close to the border. So I simply put it here. Because I want to use the chance. Oops. Ah, yeah. Something I, I learned is that uh, 
to have a pipette exclusively instead of trying to pour from the dino flagellates uh, packet directly there i took this pipette and as you can see i can push it inside so oops no, you cannot see it sorry okay so i just play with bubble so uh Of course, instead of air, when I, I use it to feel directly from the pouch, it fits quite nicely. And I need to be careful with my hands. I don't want any of these guys falling over. Okay. So anyhow, I wanted to mention the pipette. I saw. And time is running out. Okay. So here, the same as that. I thought in the surface there were... This is my original uh, BioGlow that I got in February 19, I had to go through a decontamination process. I, I believe I uh, uh, shared that in the pyro farmers, but ideally it's in the light cycle. I, uh, and as you can see it's forming, well, I don't know if you can see it, at least I see it. Uh, hopefully in the video we show, there are some bands that are forming. That is what I remember from the first time. And I'm happy, but uh, from the surface, I would say they, I cannot say if they are more or less. So anyhow, the point is that the temperature is not optimal. The lamp have increased the temperature in average uh, five degrees to 75. So what I would do, this lamp has some rods that it can be extended so I have two rods more so I can put one more and yes it will decrease the the intensity of of the light directly on them but that's fine because uh, the uh, bio glows that are supposed to be getting the least uh, light are doing good so this means that this LED light, uh, oh no, it's it, it, uh, you get an idea. Uh, that I prefer to be either similar to sunlight or warm light. This is supposed to be warm light, and I'm very pleased with it. I can raise it uh, at least uh, two times more, so I will raise it. One time more, uh, so I will see how the change goes. So now that I have uh, seen the bands, when I spin them, I will put them in the original position that you saw. I put all the things in place and raise the lamp. So the next time I make a video, uh, hopefully will be with more positive results with the new position of the lamp. So. You saw the thermometer that I'm using, the sensor. Oh, you kind of saw the sensor. I don't put it inside uh, because I don't need it. Uh, uh, most likely the water is cooler, but I wanted to see how much uh, in this in this point uh, of the sphere it warm up so it can go up to 75 anytime. Uh, anyhow, the time is running up. So I wanted to give a quick uh, one week uh, update and that's it. Uh, I will adjust the lamp for the next time and hopefully we will have better results. And uh, when I'm happy, like uh, after the month of, uh, of this guy, uh, the last time, I then will do a video on how they shine in the dark. Okay, see you guys next time.